Family Matters released a report today that said the rate at which Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander children are removed from their families is escalating into a national crisis. They say that without urgent action, that number will triple in the next 20 years. I guess, uh, is that, or just what's your response to that finding? <coughs> what do you think, if anything, needs to be changed in that regard? The, the reason the kids, the Aboriginal kids are being removed from Aboriginal families is because they are in danger of uh, slipping through the cracks and uh, so that you know, when uh, the, uh, the so-called closing the gap targets are not going to be met. Um, in many, most respects, uh, they are being uh, placed into a household that uh, is much safer, where they're likely to get fed properly and uh, they're likely to go to, go to school <coughs> and grow up to be uh, able to participate in society. Um, I am not opposed at all to uh, placing uh, Aboriginal kids in danger in in uh, safer households that are non-Aboriginal if that's, if that's uh, uh, the most viable option. Placing them with other Aboriginal households just because they're Aboriginal households I think is the wrong thing to do unless those p uh, places where they are uh, located are uh, equivalent in terms of safety and uh, welfare of the kids to the non uh, to the non-Aboriginal households. But does the warning in this report demand well, anything else of government policy? Well, what what they're saying is that kids shouldn't be taken from Aboriginal households; uh, they should be relocated into uh, other Aboriginal households because they are Aboriginal. Um, I don't think that's a very good argument at all.